Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fauna channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to dual mine Nexa plus Silica either using BZ Miner or Rigel Miner. Okay guys, first things first, we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some wallet addresses to make sure that we're able to go ahead and mine this. So for Nexa, I'd recommend going ahead to their website and grabbing an official wallet and going ahead and downloading it. Then go ahead and go to your receiving addresses and make yourself an address or copy an address that you already have going forward. And then also for Zilliqa, I'd also recommend using a Binance wallet for the address on here so you can keep and store and even earn interest on your Zilliqa once you've actually gone ahead and started to mine this. Okay, and secondly, we're going to need to go ahead and pick the miner of our choice. So we have Rigel Miner or BZ Miner. You can also do this on LOL Miner, but for this video for sake, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do this on Rigel and BZ Miner. I've tested both of these out, and they're both interesting, and they are both uh, giving me just ever so slight minor performance improvements. So I do believe that it's definitely worth jumping yourselves onto here, even if it is just to grab a small little bit of Zillica. Like I said to you guys uh, prior in the past uh, with my other previous Zill Mining videos, is that it is sometimes worth it if you are mining uh, for a period of day you would be able to just earn ever so sl slight small amount on the end of every single hour instead of you know just just accumulating nexus so you can earn just as ever so small amount extra in zillica and then you know if you're using your binance you are able to go ahead and put it over there and actually earn some interest on that as well so let's go ahead and download the Rigel 1.36 win.zip. Now this may come up as an error for you guys just make sure you go ahead and approve and allow that to go through Okay, so once this has gone ahead and downloaded, go ahead and open this folder up. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and drop this onto your desktop. So just drag and drop. For myself, this will say replace all the files that are already in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and press yes on that for this sake. As you can see, there is multiple bat files in here for yourselves already. So just go ahead and press on the edit. And then what you're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and change out ourself uh, these settings that are here and replace these with our own so that we can actually get this you know started up and mining so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy the algorithm and pull this right up to the top here and for the pool guys the pool that we're going to be using is we're going to try and use woolly pooly as this is the pool that i'm already currently using at the moment so if we come down here and we can see the eu for myself so i'm going to go and press copy on that bring myself back over to my text document and then throw that address straight into there and just delete that out make sure that you keep the stratum and the TCP in there that is very very important and then what we're going to need to do is we need to go ahead and grab our next address so if we take ourselves over to our wallet I'm going to go ahead and press copy on this take myself back to the that file and then just paste in the Nexer address there and then let's go ahead and put in our Zill address as well so if we take ourselves back over to our Binance wallet so I'll leave a link for you guys down in the description if you haven't already signed up to Binance and then let's go ahead and take ourselves back over to our bat file again and then just paste in there the Zill address okay so you can go ahead and you can name this so for this instance this is a 3090 so I'll just call this a 3090 and now that that's named if we go ahead and we press well we can just go up here and just name this as well if you really want to go ahead and press Control s and save this now if we was to go back we should now be successfully mining with Nigel uh, Rigel miner so if we have a little look over here and I really do like the look of the Rigel Miner as well. So let's just go ahead and allow this on the device. And we'll close that off. And as you can see there, it is slowly uh, set, you know, setting itself up and building itself up. I really, really do like the layout of Rigel Miner, the way it shows you hash rate, the pull, the accepted, the rejected, and, and the power and the temperature and things like that. It's really, really a uh, good layout as well. And it's good that they have had some slight uh, minor improvements as well uh, for Nexa Mining as well. So one thing I would like to as, uh, mention as well, guys, is make sure that you do get your overclock settings uh, set right for when you do set yourself up on to Nexa. That's definitely something that's worth uh, considering and checking out. So as you see here, we are set up now fully mining with the Rigel Miner. And what I'll do now, guys, is I'll go ahead and show you how to set up your bat file for 
BZ minor as well. But just so that you know, as I've mentioned prior, this is something that only, you know, comes on at the end of every hour uh, for a few minutes and it just rotates and it barely affects any of your next mining. So you'll still pretty much get the same amount of earnings every single day with just a slight, you know, a few percent in, uh, you know, extra in Zillica every day. So I think it's quite worth it. But now let's go ahead and check out how to set up a bat file for BZ miner. Okay, so to start mining with BZ Miner instead, all you need to do is just take yourself over to their website. I'll leave all the links for you guys down in the description for you. So go ahead and press on the Windows V13. Then go ahead and once this is downloaded, make sure that you open this up. And the exact same as before, we're just going to go ahead and drag this onto our desktop. Okay, so this is very, very similar as for the Rigel Miner. So we'll get this dragged onto the desktop as I said before go ahead and open this up now if we scroll down as you can see right here there's an option there for Zill Jewel so if we go ahead and press edit and if you can see here for right at the top there the Nexa Plus Zill is already set up and ready to go for us all we need to do guys is just go ahead and change our wallet address and then our Zillic address here so what we're going to do is go grab our Nexa address so open up your Nexa wallet and then go ahead and grab your Zillica wallet as well from Binance so here's the wallet address for my Nexa and then here's the wallet as well for my Zillica that I've already got sat to the side ready to go so now that both of these are set up and in there ready to go we should automatically start mining straight away to Woolly Pulley and then straight to Crazy Pool as well. So let me just go ahead and change that pool because I don't want to be uh, mining to the, I think that's a Canadian pool. So I'm just going to go ahead and press Control S. So go ahead and save that. Now if we go ahead and close this and then we take ourselves to our Zill Jewel file. If we go ahead and double click on this. We should now allow access, should be now successfully mining with BC Miner as well and actually getting those uh, minor performance increases as well and ever so slightly just making it a little bit more profitable than it was before and also putting a little bit more zill into your guys' pockets. Right, so there you have it guys, you should be successfully dual mining on Nexa and Zill. So as you can see here, the bat file is being going just for a few minutes and if we take ourselves over to the pool, you can actually see that we've already started submitting and kicking through some shares on there. Now, like I say guys, if we take a little bit of a look over at the price and how things and the difficulty and how things have been going recently um, you know with these new miners with a little bit of zil it does help you you know retain as much as you can do uh, from your mining and you know all that zilic is doing is just just a little bit of small mining at the end of every hour and that will barely affect any of your nexa earnings but you'll definitely increase your zilica earnings so well like i say guys i'll go ahead and I'll leave the links for you guys down in the description for everything for you to go forward and let me know if you guys are going to mine some nexa plus zil and i'll see you guys in the next video peace